More than a year since a would-be assassin nearly killed her, former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords has made remarkable progress. Giffords stepped down this last week to focus on her recovery, but Giffords' progress since that fateful January day isn't always the case for traumatic brain injuries. Fox 11's Bill Miston has one man's uh, story. This is 22-year-old Cody Schneider. Cody spends three days a week here at New Curative Rehabilitation. Thread, yes, spackling, needle, a zipper. Needle and thread. But he didn't always have to work on simple things like word problems. It was heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. you know, saying you were wondering when you were going to get better and stuff. Five years ago, the then 17 year old Oconto Falls High School senior crashed the car he was driving. Once at the hospital, doctors told his family the prognosis wasn't good. Basically said that uh, there's no hope for him because there was too much bleeding and swelling on his brain that, you know, start thinking about donating his organs. No, I said, I won't let my son go. Cody had brain damage, was in a coma, and no one knew the type of life Cody would have if he would pull through. There's a lot we do not know about brain function, and there's a lot we do not know about how it rehabs from an injury of tissue either. It's basically a lifetime process from the day that you have the injury forward. So Cody worked. And after multiple surgeries and therapy, great, great as heck. <laughs> Cody graduated high school two years after the accident with high honors, walking to get his diploma. Oh, it was unbelievable. I loved it so very much. He still struggles with his memory and doesn't remember anything from the accident. I remember seeing the Lord though. But despite all he's been through, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming to you. Cody says life is great. Why do you think you have such a uh, Tremendous life because of that lady right there and that man right there. He means the world to me and she means the world to me too. I love them both. You see, Cody's a bit of a matchmaker. Cody's mother Brenda met her fiance Jim because of Cody. Um, maybe sometime we can get together and go for dinner when I have a break and I said that'd be wonderful. And we did. Jim also suffers from brain damage and was getting treatment at the same facility as Cody. Now, both say they are each other's inspiration. Everything he's done so far since I've known him, it's just an inspiration to me also because the progress I see in him in the little bit I've known him, it's been great. He's a wonderful, awesome guy. I love you, Jim. Me too, kid. Cody knows he's got a long road of recovery ahead, but he has his goals set. I hope somebody will get out of his darn wheelchair. One, two, three. I think one of these days I'll do it. And from this view, it looks like he just might. In Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Each year we're told more than one and a half million people suffer a traumatic brain injury or one person every 19 seconds. The leading cause, car accidents.